The Anatolian hypothesis, also known as the Anatolian theory or the sedentary farmer theory, first developed by British archaeologist Colin Renfrew in 1987, proposes that the dispersal of Proto-Indo-Europeans originated in Neolithic Anatolia. It is the main competitor to the Kurgan hypothesis, or steppe theory, the more favoured view academically. Topic description The Anatolian hypothesis suggests that the speakers of Proto-Indo-European lived in Anatolia during the Neolithic era, and it associates the distribution of historical Indo-European languages with the expansion during the Neolithic Revolution of the 7th and the 6th millennia BC. This hypothesis states that Indo-European languages began to spread peacefully, by demic diffusion, into Europe from Asia Minor from around 7000 BC with the Neolithic advance of farming wave of advance. Accordingly, most inhabitants of Neolithic Europe would have spoken Indo-European languages, and later migrations would have replaced the Indo-European varieties with other Indo-European varieties. The expansion of agriculture from the Middle East would have diffused three language families: Indo-European toward Europe, Dravidian toward Pakistan and India, and Afro-Asiatic toward Arabia and North Africa. Reacting to criticism, Renfrew revised his proposal to the effect of taking a pronounced Indo-Hittite position. Renfrew's revised views place only pre-Proto-Indo-European in the 7th millennium BC in Anatolia, proposing as the homeland of Proto-Indo-European proper the Balkans around 5000 BC, which he explicitly identified as the «Old European Culture», proposed by Maria Gimbutas. He thus still locates the original source of the Indo-European languages in Anatolia around 7000 BC. Reconstructions of a Bronze Age pie society, based on vocabulary items like wheel, do not necessarily hold for the Anatolian branch, which appears to have separated at an early stage, prior to the invention of wheeled vehicles. According to Renfrew 2004, the spread of Indo-European proceeded in the following steps, around 6500 BC, pre-Proto-Indo-European, in Anatolia, splits into Anatolian and Archaic Proto-Indo-European, the language of the pre-Proto-Indo-European farmers who migrate to Europe in the initial farming dispersal. Archaic Proto-Indo-European languages occur in the Balkans Starcevo Koros culture, in the Danube Valley linear pottery culture, and possibly in the Bug Dniestr area eastern linear pottery culture. Around 5000 BC, Archaic Proto-Indo-European splits into Northwestern Indo-European the ancestor of Italic, Celtic, and Germanic, in the Danube Valley, Balkan Proto-Indo-European corresponding to Gimbuta's Old European culture and Early Steppe Proto-Indo-European the ancestor of Tocharian. The main strength of the farming hypothesis lies in its linking of the spread of Indo-European languages with an archaeologically known event, the spread of farming, which scholars often assume involved significant population shifts. Topic Bayesian analysis research published in 2003 of 87 languages with 2,449 lexical items by Russell Gray and Quentin Atkinson found an age range for the initial Indo-European divergence of 7,800 to 9,800 years, which was found to be consistent with the Anatolian hypothesis. Using stochastic models to evaluate the presence or absence of different words across Indo-European, Gray and Atkinson 2003 concluded that the origin of Indo-European goes back about 8,500 years, the first split being that of Hittite from the rest In 2006, the authors of the paper responded to their critics. In 2011, the authors and S. Greenhill found that two different datasets were also consistent with their theory. An analysis by Ryder and Nichols 2011 found support for the Anatolian hypothesis. Our main result is a unimodal posterior distribution for the age of Proto Indo European centered at 8,400 years before present with 95% highest posterior density interval equal to 7,100 to 9,800 years before present. A computerized phylogeographic study was published in August 2012 in Science, using methods drawn from the modeling of the spatial diffusion of infectious diseases. It also showed strong support for the Anatolian hypothesis despite having undergone corrections and revisions. Linguist Paul Hegarty from the Max Planck Institute wrote in 2014 Bayesian analysis has come to be widely used in archaeological chronologies. Its application to linguistic prehistory, however, has proved controversial, in particular on the issue of Indo-European origins. Dating and mapping language distributions back into prehistory has an inevitable fascination, but has remained fraught with difficulty. 
This review of recent studies highlights the potential of increasingly sophisticated Bayesian phylogenetic models, while also identifying areas of concern, and ways in which the models might be refined to address them. Notwithstanding these remaining limitations, in the Indo-European case the results from Bayesian phylogenetics continue to reinforce the argument for an Anatolian rather than a steppe origin. Topic. Criticism topic. Bayesian analysis Bayesian analysis has been criticized on account of its inferring the lifespan of a language from that of some of its words, the idiosyncratic outcome of, for example, the Albanian language raises doubts about the method and the data. Topic. Contradictory results in statistical, automated and analytical studies Furthermore, other lexicostatistical and some glottochronological studies have produced results different from the results produced by Gray and Atkinson, as has a 2015 phylogenetic analysis which instead supports the Kurgan hypothesis. Topic. Dating However, the main objection to the Anatolian hypothesis is that it requires an unrealistically early date. Most estimates date Proto-Indo-European between 4500 and 2500 BC, with the most probable date around 3700 BC. It is unlikely that Late Pi, even after the separation of the Anatolian branch, postdates 2500 BC, as Proto-Indo-Iranian is usually dated to just before 2000 BC. On the other hand, it is not very likely that early Pi predates 4500 BC, as the reconstructed vocabulary strongly suggests a culture of the terminal phase of the Neolithic bordering on the Early Bronze Age. According to linguistic analysis, the Proto Indo European lexicon seems to include words for a range of inventions and practices related to the secondary products revolution, which postdates the early spread of farming. On lexicocultural dating, Proto-Indo-European cannot be earlier than 4000 BC Pi contains words for technologies that make their first appearance in the archaeological record in the late Neolithic, in some cases bordering on the early Bronze Age, some belonging to the oldest layers of Pi. The lexicon includes words relating to agriculture dated to 7500 BC, stockbreeding 6500 BC, metallurgy 5500 BC, the plow 4500 BC, gold 4500 BC, domesticated horses 4000 BC and wheeled vehicles 4000 BC. Horse breeding is thought to have originated with the Sredny Stog culture, semi-nomadic pastoralists living in the forest steppe zone, now in Ukraine. Wheeled vehicles are thought to have originated with funnelbeaker culture in what is now Poland, Belarus and parts of Ukraine. Linguistics <inaudible> 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 Many Indo-European languages have cognate words meaning axle, Latin axis, Lithuanian asis, Russian as, and Sanskrit axa. In some, a similar root is used for the word armpit, eaxl in Old English, axilla in Latin, and caxa in Sanskrit, all of them are linked to the pi root ax. The reconstructed pi root i, eug gives rise to German yoke, Hittite iukan, Latin yugam and Sanskrit yuga m, all meaning yoke. Words for wheel and cart, wagon, chariot take one of two common forms, thought to be linked with two pi roots. The root kl, move around, is the basis of the unique derivative kek lo, wheel, which becomes veil, wheel, in Old Icelandic, kolo, wheel, circle, in Old Church Slavonic, kakla, neck, in Lithuanian, kaiklo, wheel, circle, in Greek, kaka, kakra, wheel, in Pali and Sanskrit, and kukul, wagon, chariot, in Tocharian a. The root ret h becomes rad, wheel, in Old High German, rota, wheel, in Latin, radas, wheel, in Lithuanian, and ratha, wagon, chariot, in Sanskrit. Topic: Farming. The idea that farming was spread from Anatolia in a single wave has been revised. Instead, it appears to have spread in several waves by several routes, primarily from the Levant. The trail of plant domesticates indicates an initial foray from the Levant by sea. The overland route via Anatolia seems to have been most significant in spreading farming to southeastern Europe. Topic. Genetics. 
Recent genetic evidence from the Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona favors Gimbutas Kurgan hypothesis over Renfrew's Anatolian hypothesis. Lazaridis et al. 2016 noted on the origins of ancestral North Indians. Nonetheless, the fact that we can reject West Eurasian population sources from Anatolia, mainland Europe, and the Levant diminishes the likelihood that these areas were sources of Indo-European or other languages in South Asia. However, Lazaridis et al. previously admitted being unsure if the steppe is the ultimate source of the Indo-European languages and believing that more data is needed. Furthermore, other geneticists, such as Carles Leluenza Fox of the University of Barcelona, are uncertain as to the location of the branches of Indo-European which split earliest from the rest. See also Armenian hypothesis Indo-Hittite Kurgan hypothesis Neolithic Europe Neolithic Revolution Paleolithic continuity theory References Citations Sources Further reading Blazek, Václav the 22nd of November 2005 on the internal classification of Indo-European languages survey PDF Linguistica online 1 to 17